Subansri Lower Hydroelectric Project is passing through rough weather as its work is under forced suspension since December 2011. Concerns for the safety of dam in the seismic environment of the northeast are understandable. However, aspects related to safety have again been re-examined. While seismic design parameter has been established as conservative enough requiring no revision, innovative and additional safety measures have been suggested that will ensure satisfactory performance of the dam on a long term. Subansri Lower Project is planned for providing flood cushion during monsoon at cost of energy by operating its reservoir at low level. As such, Assam will be benefited from project as reservoir operation is primarily for flood attenuation or moderation during monsoon period which otherwise would have been used for power generation. Irrigation project in downstream which is in domain of government of Assam can be planned and executed for which Subansi Lower Dam is a prerequisite. Navigation and tourism in downstream will also be added advantages generating avenues for income to downstream population. Thus, even though it is being implemented as a hydroelectric project, Subansi Lower Project in fact characteristically is a multi-purpose project. Importantly, the focus or the depth that is the point of origin of the earthquake from the surface has ranged between 20 kilometers to 40 kilometers. Even all over the world, the earthquakes ranging between 8.5 to 9.5 magnitude have originated at a depth not less than 20 kilometers. This is because unless there is sufficient volume of rock mass, that is adequate rupture width, rupture length and thickness or depth is involved, required magnitude cannot be generated. Hence, it can be safely concluded that earthquake of 8.5 magnitude cannot occur at a shallow depth of merely 10 kilometers because such depth cannot sustain the large stress accumulations and may release energy much before in terms of lower magnitude. Alex Sandstone Dam is located in relative soft rock region that is south of main boundary thrust that is MBT. However, adequate measures have been taken for safe design of the dam. Accordingly, increased base width of the dam to 271 meters from 171 meter that is an increase of 100 meter which is recommended by the dam design review panel that is DDRP has been adopted. Now the base width is 2.2 times the height of dam whereas earlier it was 1.35 times the height of dam. Normally the base width of concrete gravity dam is kept equal to height of dam. Now, for downstream riparian rights and sustainable biodiversity, the one unit will be run continuously during the lean season to maintain the minimum water flow of 250 cumic subject to available inflows. Second, protection measures in downstream. Expert group has suggested protection measures up to 15 km downstream. Joint Steering Committee has also recommended that necessary protection works in the portion of 15 km in the downstream from dam site be carried out at locations and details worked out by NHPC, Brahmaputra Board and Water Resource Department, Government of Assam with funding from NHPC. NHPC has decided to carry out protection works beyond 15 km that may be extended up to 30 km in downstream. Assam will be getting 208 megawatts allocated power. In addition, it will further get 25 megawatt of free power. Total unallocated 300 megawatt power is further proposed to be allocated by Government of India. In terms of energy, Assam will get around 533 megawatt which is more than 25 percentage of the total power as compared to other states who will obviously have much lesser share. In terms of energy, this is equivalent to about 2000 million units annually valued at about Rs 
600 crore. The project will enable increased hours in availability of domestic power. With the availability of Subansri power, costly merchant power could be avoided. Major economic development in Assam for setting up of industries will become reality with adequate power. Due to construction of the project, substantial revenue is being generated for government of Assam in form of various tolls, taxes and royalty of forest produce such as sand, aggregate etc. The project will be crucial for much required business and employment opportunity. Already during construction, more than 5,000 local workforce were engaged for the project. As Assam and even the entire Northeast has little coal and gas resources, hence hydropower is the only viable source of energy to support the overall economic development of state. Besides energy, flood attenuation or moderation and minimizing erosion, benefit can further be multiplied if Assam utilizes the water for irrigation purpose for multiple cropping by constructing suitable barrage and canal system. Properly conceived irrigation project which is in the domain of government of Assam will definitely add to the prosperity of the region for which Subansri Lower Dam is a prerequisite. Further, NHPC is discharging its corporate social responsibility with due diligence in both upstream and downstream areas of Subansri Lower Project, which will be a continuous process and will also benefit directly to locals in vicinity of the project. Emphasis is being given on skill development, improvement in education and health sectors and promoting arts, culture and sports activities. NHPC assures to implement the modifications proposed in the dam design as suggested by dam design review panel set up under directions of the Thate committee. Concerns raised by the expert group for dam safety and downstream impact recommendation of the joint steering committee and most of all the observations made by the people of the region so as to ensure full economic benefits of the project to the people of Assam and Arunachal Pradesh as well as the Northeast region and the whole nation.